So I think the person behind me asked an interesting question about the nature of creation, that creation is not an event in time. Yep. So it seems to me that then talking about creation and the necessity for a creator with causality, causality also exists in time. Not necessarily. Okay. The effect of causality exists in time. The thing brought into existence is temporal. But the bringer doesn't necessarily have to be temporal. Now, uh, let me give you an analogy. This, this is not a proof, but it's, but it's a way of wrapping your mind around this extremely difficult concept. Uh, in order for me to move this piece of paper over here, I have to move the mover, my hand. Suppose that I had the mental power of moving that piece of paper without touching it with my hand. In that case, there would be no physical change that was the cause of the physical change. But there would still be a mental change, so that would be in time. If there is a being that is to my mind what my mind is to my body, that might be a, a, an eternal being. In other words, the qualifications of the effect don't necessarily apply to the cause. Uh, they sometimes do. The paper can't move through space unless my hand moves through space. Unless there's another kind of cause, if I could simply by willing it, if I were, had telekinesis, uh, move the paper without changing anything in my body. And that is presumably possible. Hmm. So the principle is established that the cause can transcend the effect. So maybe a, an eternal cause can transcend the temporality of the effect. With the effect that we're still talking about something taking place in time, it seems a necessary component of change. You can even define time in terms of change, that we change from one state to another. Mm -hmm. So um, when we're talking about, to talk about an event that is outside of time seems... Contradictory. That's why yeah. I say creation is not an event. Right. It's an act which, for God, is still going on or rather is presently going on. When God said, let there be, he said, let there be the whole shebang. Everything from the Big Bang to your asking this question. What all simultaneously I, present I, to I'm it. not trying in a strict sense to say that there cannot be a creator. What I'm trying to say is I don't see where causality applies here and requires that there be a creator. It seems like asking what's north of the North Pole. No, because the alternative is, oh, well, universes happen. I mean, atheists before Big Bang cosmology all bought into steady state theory because they, too, accepted the fact that universes don't just happen. And gods don't just happen. God is an eternal and necessary being. Well, they thought that the universe was an eternal being. But they didn't think that Big Bangs happened without a Big Banger. But now they're struggling to make some form of that credible. 